happy vacation time. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. This is the uh, Recreation Parks Advisory Committee. Uh, I'm filling in for Steve tonight. He's not with us. Uh, the uh, first thing on the agenda, approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. The uh, approval of the minutes, uh, May 19, 2014. Has everybody had a chance to look over them? Is there a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So passed. Okay, we start out with the interim director's report. All right, I think it's my turn uh, this evening. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as far as uh, the department is concerned, today uh, started off another one of our large programs. Summer Day Camp has officially started. We're pleased to let you know that we are full in every site, just about for every session for the entire summer. Wow. So um, that's that's nice. Yeah. Uh, parents are hopefully not scrambling around too much, but we're all pleased about that. In addition to the summer programs, um, summer uh, mowing, everything else is going on well over in parks. Uh, we have, uh, in addition, we've started off our movie series. They've gone really strong so far. We've had two movies with well over 400 in attendance. So they've gone really well. We are moving the Frozen on uh, July 11th because that's a really popular movie. We're going to have to move that to the Commons because I don't think we have the space at the Walk Park. So for everybody, anybody watching, if you're interested in Frozen, um, it, in the, it's going to be at the Commons on July 11th because with 400 as it is right now at Riverwalk, we are, it's tight. You know, the farther you go back, the less the sound, you know, you have a little harder time hearing it. Um, uh, as far as project, projects goes, we are, um, we have a meeting tomorrow with engineering on Phillips Park. There has been some discussion on um, the history of the landfill that was there. So we'll get some clarification on that from the state. Uh, after that, we'll we be going in one direction, hopefully moving forward. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, and then other than that, project-wise, what are the projects? We have a small renovation starting up at the Commons. Uh, we have some uh, repair work that we're doing to the floor and to the walls, but it's a, it's a fairly small project. Uh, the only other thing I can mention is everybody is probably aware that the budget has been passed. Last week, City Council approved the budget. Um, you're probably aware of the changes and in, in the increases that they made there but we are full steam ahead as far as you know being as efficient um, as we can with the department Jack Emmyet if you haven't seen it it is really coming together uh, it is really looking like a ball field they have uh, the well in the irrigation is uh, is getting there the dugouts and the score box I think is framed up mm. Um, they have finished pretty much all the grading, so as soon as the irrigation goes in, you'll see, um, you know, the finishing work on the actual field. Fence will be just about the last thing that goes up um, in addition to the sod. So the projected finish date on that will probably be beginning of September, hopefully sooner, depending on weather, um, but it should be very nice. I want to remind you that we have um, a park Challenge course park dedication on Sunday. Commons Anybody's? challenge course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I said there. Thank you. Um, at the Commons, if you're not aware, we took a uh, the corner lot, um, caddy corner to the Commons. I guess you could say, um, not on uh, not on the Richard Ray side as far as the playground goes, but the other corner. Uh, uh, had some volunteers and some groups go in there and clear it out with some some help with some city crews, but for the most part, a lot of volunteers fo folks went out there with uh, under the direction of Bicycle Gallery, and they went in there and cleared it out and made a real nice trail, biking trail. Did. Have really you been did. through there? We've been through. Uh, it, and it's, it's a tough. biking and pedestrian trail. Yeah. There's areas that are wide for yeah. the person who wants to walk or run, and then there's some veins off of it that are a yeah. little tighter for like the mountain bikers that want right. competitive type of courses. And, you know, that's a, it's a nice, addition to Jacksonville yeah. the land was already shaped in a way that fits <coughs> with what yeah, you need more out there than you, than you yeah so it, it, yeah. you know we didn't have to go in there and do a lot of work and move dirt around and do this and that we just had to basically grab a couple of chainsaws and cut paths as we went and uh, 
so it's, it is. It yeah, is so that's at 2 o'clock if you want to come out at 2 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, we're working with the Bicycle Gallery. They've been uh, instrumental in getting that project underway. I think there was a piece on G10 about that, that they had a, a, a bicycle pedal cam, for lack of a better uh, okay. <laughs> uh, perspective, and it showed you know, people going down the, uh, the trail from a bicyclist perspective. Right, right. Um, I have, uh, thank you. Uh, Kerr Street Fence will be going in after July 1, so you'll see that fence down at Kerr Street. That work should be, be starting up the first week of July, so that'll be going in. And then, last but not least, I think the only other thing I can think of is the skate park. To give you an update on the skate park, uh, we have been working diligently with lots of experts in the field uh, as far as engineering and um, people that structural engineer on the condition of those ramps. As you know, we had some storm damage. Uh, some were completely destroyed. Some were... Um, I guess left needing some repairs, but in the process of looking at everything and trying to determine how we were going to go move forward with either what we have or making repairs, it, it's been determined that it's really not worth the repairs. The cost of repairing those ramps is not, it's just not feasible. It's, they're 14 years old and the damage <coughs> is enough that you would have to basically tear them completely apart and rebuild them and why would you even do that if you can either just completely rebuild or purchase all new. So we are working with another group to, um, you know, move forward as far as demolition, demolition of the wooden ramps, keeping the metal in there. We've gotten some input from that uh, population, the skateboarders and the BMXers that enjoy that park. Get this their is what we're mm -hmm. Square. The skate park at the Commons. On the side of the tennis courts. You know, Other side of the. Mm -hmm. Ball fields over by basketball. It's right across okay. the street from the ba outdoor basketball courts, okay. the fenced in okay. area. Okay, thank you. Has some ramps in there. We are getting okay. feedback from that from that group, the the target um, audience. We are getting some feedback <coughs> from them. They're working. We're working with them. What ramps they want to see? How they want to see the flow? You know those sort of those sort of ideas. Because I certainly don't don't know. And and so uh, as soon as we have that, we'll move forward. What will probably happen is we'll purchase what we can with the insurance money that we got back. It'll be a little bit of a phased situation over there, a little bit here, a little bit there. The, we'd like to upgrade to metal ramps, and they're uh, not as economic as the metal, wooden ones, but we don't want to be in the same position a few years down the road either. So metal ramps is probably the way to go at this point. Any thoughts on that? Did I miss anything? Just to add on, just real quickly, right. um, Wednesday night we do have a community meeting at Jack Amiet. If you'd like to attend, just be aware it's at 6 p.m. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, uh, and other than that, I think Susan pretty much covered our, our projects. The only other thing I would add is at uh, Jack Amiet, and I can't, you know, excuse me, I can't remember if the lights were up the last time we met, but the poles are up and all that. So. It's definitely moving along, and uh, we'll be having baseball games out there next spring before we know it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say the meeting was at 6? Jack Amy at the Amy. Recreation Center. Six. We're working with the police department on that. So they'll be there to, uh, you know, and the town center folks that uh, own a lot of that property will also be there. So we're working with them, <coughs> some feedback from the community. Um, so yeah. I, I do have I have two questions on uh, have, I guess it's budget slash projects or programs our after-school program is basically am I correct paid for by the self-funded yes ma'am yes okay how does that compare to our um, summer programs so it's some same thing we have uh, we've always been self-sufficient in the summer programs we've never really subsidized that one as far as the cost for that versus the um, expenses <laughs> Uh, so we we were we're basically catching up to what the summer program has done for the after school because as you're aware we've at one point after school was free and then we charged ten dollars and fifteen dollars and last year it was like twenty five dollars so uh, now we're self funded on that one same as the summer program. The the second question has to do with the letter that I read this morning in the paper about Northeast Creek. Um, now it I'm hoping this is the right time to bring it up, but. Am I correct but that we're not really doing anything yet at Northeast Creek because we've got to let the dirt settle. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that, that the, the things we saw, if I remember correctly, like the ball fields that Tim put down there to show us was to give us some idea of the, the huge Space. scope. The enormity of it, yeah. Because after that letter I went and I read the uh, 
I went back and read the master plan again, and uh, and I, I saw a lot of the things that we're doing that were in the master plan, and there were some things that, and I'm sure like everybody else is going to say that it wasn't meant that when that's done you're going to do everything there and never change for the next 20 years because you, you have to keep changing or else you just lose track of all your the uses that, that right. people have for things. Right. You know, there may be a point in time, I don't see it yet, where there are no skateboarders. Right. And then in mm -hmm. that case, a skateboard park sure. would not be a very wise thing to have. Sure. Um, I think the, you know, the idea is to what can we do with that land? You know, what are the options out there? What are some ideas? And to give you an overlay of some spatial mm -hmm. considerations, we've had it also done with rectangular fields. How many rectangular fields would be an option? So those are conceptual concepts, not in stone, obviously, sure, budget sure. will drive everything, and we know that that's not um, in the near future. Be a good thing for some school kids to try for a project. What would yeah. you do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might be a good idea. <clears throat> I appreciate Homer bringing it up. I brought the, <laughs> brought the article uh, with me tonight, to. and it was a well written letter and uh, mm -hmm. very well said. And uh, of course, city council has the final say so. We advise. But uh, the point was well taken. I mean, you talk about taxpayers' money. They had input into the plan. Uh, we had input into the plan. The plan was passed. And, you know, that's what the public's supposed to do. If they disagree, they put in input and get us back on the straight and narrow if that be the case. So that's the way the system was supposed to work. So I appreciate the individual writing a letter. And, I think it was well received overall. So mm -hmm. appreciate that. Homer, um, thanks again. It was a very constructive. Yeah. Pop. Sure. I, I actually, I, I enjoyed reading it. Mm -hmm. um, did a good job. Okay, new business. Well, I, I have one little thing. Uh, those of you that knew Kate Perkins, formerly Kate Prestowitz, our horticulturalist. Her last day was Friday. Mm -hmm. She has moved on. Uh, she is on her way to Kentucky now.